Video C3 Solar Pumps Types and Advantages The pump does the main job in the system that is pumping out water from its source to the target field. Water pumps are driven by electrical motors that convert electrical energy into mechanical energy. It is this mechanical energy that enables the pump to take out water. Pumps can be classified in different categories. Surface and submersible pumps based on the location of the pump and AC and DC pumps based on the type of current utilized by the pump. Based on the location of the pump with respect to the water source, pumps can be submersible and surface. Surface pumps are located above the ground and pump out water from open water sources like ponds, tanks, canals and lakes. Submersible pumps are located more than 30 feet below the ground where the water level is low or may further reduce in future. Submersible pumps have lower water output than surface pumps. But submersible pumps are more robust and work in harsh environments, while surface pumps are more vulnerable to weather conditions or theft. The pumps are classified DC pumps and AC pumps based on the type of current used. DC pumps operate on direct current, while AC pumps operate on alternating current. AC pumps require an inverter to convert DC from the solar panels into AC. The DC pumps have higher efficiency since DC to AC conversion leads to a loss of power. However, the DC pumps are costlier and have complex maintenance and can't be locally repaired. The type and size of pump used in the field is determined by several factors like availability of source of water, bore diameter, daily average water requirement, suction and delivery head. Availability of water source is the initial deciding factor for the type of pump, that is surface or submersible. If a submersible pump is required to be installed, the size of the existing bore well becomes an important parameter and a suitable pump whose diameter is lesser than that of the bore well is selected for hassle-free installation. This also prevents digging another bore well. Daily average water requirement is considered to decide the sizing of the pump required. Head range or operating range of the pump In summers, the water level goes down and it means maximum head, while during monsoons, water level goes up to minimum head. The maximum head of the pump should be higher than the summertime water level and minimum head of the pump should be higher than the rainy season water level. Lastly, the diameter of the discharge pipe attached to the pump decides the diameter of the output pipe. Solar water pump is determined by the total dynamic head which is calculated based on the vertical height that the water must be pumped, friction of the pipes and the effective pumping of water per unit time output unit. The best suited pump is decided based on manufacturer's catalogues and pump or motor pair performance curves to ensure that the pump or motor pair can deliver the required water flow against the total dynamic head.